So I'm going to start scattering some of these uh, elements that we've created down onto our um, original uh, floor here. So I'm going to start off with another shape splatter. A shape splatter and use this as the background. Uh, let's put this to, let's keep it at one uh, for now and we'll put our grass blade into it. Pattern one. So let's pump up the X and Y amount to 200. Uh, let's just place this down here so we can see, see them being scarred. Go. So let's go down and let's start changing some of these options. So let's go scale four, uh, a scale random of point two eight. You can start to see them now. Okay. Scale size from background. Size ratio from background slope. Let's go 1.0.17. 1. 0. 0. Uh, whatever it says from background slope, I tend to just add a little bit of that in. Uh, position random 0. 0.48. Again, it's a good value for me. Um, offset horizontal. So I always just put that to 0. 0.5 and let's put this up to 0. 0.5 as well, 0. 0.53. Next one, let's have a look at shape splatter data. This little button to get rid of the transparent view. We also got a lot of, a lot of grass blades there. Oh, still all pointing in the one direction. So let's go down to rotational random and let's put in, um, get a value for that. So let's go. About, about there should be fine. So let's go rotation from background slope. So let's just get a bit of that. So let's go 0.65. Just allow the background to push, uh, push these grass blades where they need to go. Uh, let's go down to the height, uh, height offset. Bring them up. And the height map a little bit so we can see them. And then height scale, we'll leave that to one and bring it down and bring it down a little bit to about 0.3. And then we want to conform to background. Um, it's just so that they kind of like scare around, they wrap around the rocks a little bit so we can even, maybe it's a bit much. That smooth, conformed background. Let's put this up to 50. So we don't get any noise. There we go. Now they're not sitting on top of our rocks. And skew from background slope. So let's put that to five. Have a look at the splatter data again. So it's kind of going around our um, larger stones right now. So let's scroll down. Have a look at our mask options. Let's, we want, definitely want to do a mask random and get rid of some of these. So 0.56 is the value that I've landed on. And then mask from background slope. So we'll go 0 0.22. From that, get something. Like that. So we just want some some of these little grass blades like, lying around uh, on the terrain here, just as a sort of like even fourth little uh, extra. So now uh, let's move on down and add in our plants. So we can just duplicate this. Let's use this as the background. Right, drag that down. So we'll need to change the, 
this to two. Uh, and then we can drag in both of our little plant options that we've got down here. So what we're going to do is we're going to just going to use reuse this as a mask as our mask random uh, and that should get us most of the way there so let's reduce the amount for one because it's far too many so put that down to 60 and let's scroll down to scale so let's bring the scale down to 3 Scale random to 0.65 and scale from background ratio, we can keep that 0.17. Uh, we'll keep the position random, we'll keep the offset horizontal, that can be the same, that's fine. 0.5 rotation random, yeah we can keep that the same as well. 0.65 for the rotation from background slope and then we're going to change some of these values for the height so let's um, keep the height offset for 2 for the moment but let's add in some variation there um, height scale so let's change this see if we can pump that up so we can start to see some of that folding detail that we've added Cool. Uh, conform to background, so I'm going to drop that down to 0.6 just so we don't get them quite wrapping around as much. Um, we can keep these two the same and then the mask random, so we're going to drop that down to 0 0.11 and use our mask map or map multiplier to mask some of these out and then even more let's get some background slope interference and get some of them out of the way they're a little big let's see if we can drop the scale a little bit there to let's see two Cool. Uh, and then let's drop scale a little bit up here. And then because of this conform to background and skew from background slope, you get these little areas where it looks like it's sort of growing out the corners of the rocks, which is really nice. Excellent. So let's move on to the next one which is I'm just going to scatter um, a few of the individual leaves that we made. So I'm just going to duplicate that, bring that down into the background, get rid of our inputs and go up here. We don't need to I'll just bring that back to one. And we can just Bring in this one. And that should just splatter. No, because we've got the mask set the mask settings on, so we can add a mask in. So let's add a mask around these leaves, these plants here and let's kind of do the same thing as we've done before using an ambient occlusion node to say where to uh, place these leaves so they're always in the vicinity of one of the existing plants Change the height to 0 0.16. Let's bring the radius down 
a little bit. Something like 0 0.06 should be fine. And then this goes into shape scale. This goes into mask random. Uh, and then let's allow that to have uh, C in the viewport. Cool. Now let's have a look at the splatter data. Will we mess around with these numbers? Let's put them up to 100 by 100. Scale should be, let's put the scale to three. The scale random be the same. Size from background ratio, we keep that the same. Position, position random, we can keep the same as well. Uh, we can keep the offsets the same. We don't really need to change that. Uh, rotation random. Let's yeah, let's add a bit more. Um, yeah, let's keep it that there. Rotation from background slope. We can just keep that there. Uh, height offset. We can keep that to. You can really just keep all of these sends kind of the same. Um, we just bring that back to make sure we're seeing what we're. We think we're seeing cool. And then let's pull that back. We're just getting some of these leaves lying around on the scene. So now we can just pull these out here. Pull this out a little bit. Bring these down and we can just frame that off as plant blending. In fact, plant layering. And then just to get, you know, tidy these up, tidy these wires up a little bit. Just so it doesn't get confusing for us. Uh, down, the lo down the road, when we start to implement color, roughness, and Thank you very much for watching this tutorial. You can watch the next part by clicking the screen or the link in the description. If you would like to get your hands on these source files for this tutorial, then they can be found at the link in the description below as well. 